Hello, so today I wanted to talk about different ways that I like to stretch my quads, so also my hip flexors, and release some of the stress and pain that I can have sometimes on my knees. Like the basic stretch would be when you stand up and you grab your leg. That does work. I mean, I like it. Sometimes I do it when I don't have a lot of time. But usually I would go for three different approaches. All right. I just wanted to make sure the camera is catching everything. To go through our stretches, the first one that I like to do, and it's pretty complete. Uh, it's just that the second variation that I'm going to show you, I feel like you can get a bit deeper if you try to. If you are in an open space, and do not have a wall or a couch or anything that you can work with this is going to be my first option what you do what i like to do here is i start on all fours i replace one leg and i do something like a lunge from here i'm going to raise my back leg and grab it with my hand pull this way i can stretch my quad and my hip flexor so this will deepen the more that I tilt my pelvis forward. So if I'm like this, arching my back, uh, you can see maybe better like this. So if I am arching my back, I will not feel the stretch as much. But if I tilt my pelvis forward, it will start feeling a more intense and deeper stretch. Here you can go with one hand, maybe two hands and just pull the heel all the way to your glutes while tightening the glutes on your core. So that will be my first choice. If I do have a wall, a closet, a couch, a bed, anything that I can put my leg onto, I would choose this variation instead. So for this one, we're gonna place our feet next to the wall, or in this case, the closet. And then I am going to place my knee and then I'm going to start and come into a lunge. So it's the same position as the last one. But here you don't have to balance as much and you can place your hands in the ground and your foot is still going to be raised. So for the first one, what I like to do is just tilt forward and then backward trying to get my hip as, as low as I can with every repetition and getting lower with every repetition. I would do this for a full minute, depending on how intense I am doing it. If it's too intense, maybe I'll just take 30 seconds in this position. Once I am done with both sides, and I want to deepen my stretch. What I would try to do on my next goal would be to bring my back on the wall. So for this one, I would go up and then I would start pulling back. And I already feel a very deep stretch on my quad. Try to bring it all the way back to the wall. Hold here. Woo! So I would hold here for maybe a minute, 30 seconds, just to feel that stretch getting deeper. If you're starting out, maybe you can bring the knee a little bit forward. That way you are not, it's not as intense. The leg has a little bit more room and you can balance yourself a little bit. But yeah, quick video here. Take it at your own pace. Do it the way you enjoy it. But yeah, those are the three stretches I would pick to stretch my quads and hip flexors. If I only had to choose three, there are many other stretches that I put around my videos, my full body, my hip opening and mobility workouts. But if I had to pick three that really go deep into the quad and the front hip flexor, those would be the ones. Follow Mauricio Move if you'd like to see more content like this one.